morning and welcome to the vlog. Let's start the day with a workout. And we're done here. And now breakfast in that cool breakfast area up there on the roof of this hotel. Good morning, we are in King's Cross or Potts Point. Potts Point is the entire area here. And I just got off King's Cross Station. And now I'm walking down to Rushcutters Bay Park to look at the ships and look at the water. And then probably just do a nice little walk um, to Oxford Street through five ways because that's just very, very nice. And probably sit in a cafe at some stage because I actually need to book my next Sydney flight for my next gig that I have in December. This is the plan. It is much warmer today, which is nice. Not hot, so I'm still needing my jacket at the moment. Yeah, it's a really nice day. And I'm gonna see Nasli tonight for dinner. So I'm really looking forward to that as well. Yeah, now we've got a few hours of just enjoying Sydney. So there used to be my favorite pizza place in the world, literally, really, like I used to go this, to this place in my early 20s, Planet Pizza. You can feel the remains of it, but it's, it has been gone now, I think for two or three years, unfortunately. Best pizza in the world. They lasted a long time, but nothing lasts forever now, does it? Only my YouTube channel, that's gonna be there forever. And if you're here for the cricket content, which I absolutely do not have on this channel, or didn't have on this channel yet, it is coming up now. So if you love cricket, please let me know in the comments why. I've got a special treat for you. here on my channel so if you really haven't subscribed yet please do it now do it for the cricket <laughs> something just happened like they're all very happy someone hits the ball which I'm guessing is the the whole idea but it's also a lot of standing around so I don't know I, I know nothing about it obviously but still it is here on my channel Rushcutters Bay Park. It is just extremely beautiful and it smells good. Ah, home sweet home. Yes, I mean this of course I do not have in Melbourne. Alrighty, and here we have the Calisthenics Park and I shall attempt a pull-up. Wish me luck so that I don't embarrass myself in front of the internet. <laughs> let's try, let's try. I've been working my arms. So I've been to the gym this morning. So if it doesn't work, then it's because my, my strong arms are already exhausted. So, but let's see, one pull up. I, I think, I think, fingers crossed. Hopefully I don't embarrass myself in front of the hot food. <laughs> I say working out every morning going to the gym every morning has paid off I'm now strong as beep very proud it feels good to be able to do pull-ups so all my life I was never never able to and I never understood how it's even possible but I mean then you see men doing like many 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 and I'm like okay maybe one day I can do it too and that day has obviously come like I was able actually two years ago or three years ago, I learned it. Then I lost it and now I'm back. I'm back, baby. 
and I'm also back here in Rush Cutters Bay and it is so beautiful Alrighty, I'm gonna find a nice shady spot somewhere in the grass and book my next Sydney flight because this is how my life goes like I live in both cities in three cities you know which one they are if you know the cities that I live in please let me know in the comments and if you're wondering why Sydney is more expensive than Melbourne I think I think you, you've got your answer here I don't even have to say much I mean the water as well and there's fish in there so yeah I guess a picture shows more than a million words Getting a fresh juice, might as well. Let's grab a nice table then. With ship view. Life is tough here in Sydney. Oh, cheers. Okay, and I think the plan is to walk towards five ways and then Oxford Street and then down Oxford Street and then through the city because i haven't been next to the opera house yet and i mean you cannot go to sydney and not touch the opera house so we're gonna do that too and then yes later dinner with nasli fun fact in 2020 i was doing boot camps here and it was ex exactly in this spot in the grass and i used to do the 7 a.m class but i also slept like by 9 p.m because i didn't have gigs but yeah, it was awesome, like 7 a.m. class here in winter, sunrise, sometimes it was raining and we were like all muddy and like we didn't have mats, we would just like use the grass. And yeah, I was, I was tough then, but still I wasn't able to do a pull up then, but now I am. Yeah, good old days, lots of memories here. I mean, this is why I feel this is my home because I mean, yeah, I've been here for 10 years. I just always felt very connected to Sydney like yeah since I was 17 I was completely obsessed with living in Sydney because I mean I've seen pictures and the water and everything and I thought well this is the best place to live that's where I want to live and I've been literally really absolutely obsessed to the point where I like cut out um, images of Sydney Opera House of travel magazines because this was long before like internet and easy access to images and stuff so I had like all those travel magazines and I cut out everything Sydney related and had it stuck to my bedroom wall that was before vision boards were a thing I already had that I did it naturally yeah it took me long enough to end up here but I did but this is why Sydney and I have a very special connection you know and while it is the reasonable thing for me to do to live in in Melbourne and I'm proud of myself for being able to do something reasonable and not only like follow my heart always I mean I don't know is this a reason to be proud I don't know <laughs> yes I mean I love Melbourne too but Melbourne and I don't have like we don't go back we don't go way back like me and Sydney I'm still very close like just an hour flight away one could almost say I still live here used to have coffees here or tea after after workout sessions after boot camp anyway let's go to five ways now and I mean why wouldn't you ride a t-rex I mean Welcome to Paddington, where we are now, and there is some Halloween stuff happening, like over there. And there's like baby strollers, so that's probably the scariest thing you can put out there for Halloween. I, I agree. I'm terrified. Let's go. <laughs> and I'm walking on Glenmore Road, which is known for its beautiful terraces. So yeah, if you come to Sydney, this is a really nice walk along that area here in this area Glenmore Road nice views of the city as well and some more scary Halloween stuff <laughs> I like it no scrollers though so it's not too scary but look how pretty this is 
yeah, not cheap to live here because you're still very close to the city. You've got all the parks, you're pretty close to beaches and it's just very nice. I'm almost at Five Ways, by the way. It's called Five Ways because it's an intersection and it splits into five roads. You've learned something. And oh my God, is it hot? Now it feels like Sydney summer. And here we are at Five Ways and OMG, is it pretty with the blue trees? It was totally worth coming here. So yeah, five roads here and a roundabout and lots of nice, very nice cafes. Honestly, pictures don't do it justice. It is so beautiful here. I mean, now I'm hungry that I'm seeing all those really nice cafes, but I need to save myself for dinner with Nasli in. So pretty. Well, I'm not gonna walk past a strawberry matcha latte, so I've ordered that bad boy and it's coming. Thank you. She's a beauty. Let's stir her. Let's see. Oh wow, very nice. Approved. Alrighty, strawberry matcha done and it was really good. I would say New York's good. Sydney is lifting its matcha game. Alrighty, and now we're gonna walk to Oxford Street and then probably slowly make our way to the city. And by we, I mean you and me. This beautiful terrace looks from the inside. That's what it looks like. I'm always wondering how dark it is in there, but I guess they have like backyards. And I mean, it's very sunny here on this street, so I'd probably, I, I could see myself living here. Even though I like to be like high above the tree line, but yeah, not too bad here. And we've got more, oh my god, my stomach is so full with liquid. <laughs> and we've got more terrifying Halloween stuff. And this is Oxford Street. Lots of really nice designer stores here. So this used to be the main shopping area in Sydney before they built the Bondi Junction shopping center, which sort of killed this a little bit but it, it came back and it came back very cool and stylish and fancy so all the fancy shops are here now sorry there's a plane flying so yeah Oxford Street and we've got laneway art here in Sydney too not just in Melbourne but Melbourne does it better and more like there is just more of it wedding dresses but I've already got my wedding dress or the bottom of my wedding dress sorted in New York if you watch my vlogs you know <laughs> just a future husband that's still still missing alrighty I sprayed myself with something called scandal so now we wait for the scandal to unfold. Yeah, I'm really getting my steps in again today. 
I didn't mean to do so much walking because I was exhausted yesterday at the end of the day and I thought I'm gonna take it easy today but you just see more and experience more if you walk everywhere. I mean I might take the bus at some stage but Circular key, and we're gonna see the opera house now. If you've never seen it before, I've got you covered. She's a beauty with all the flowers, customs house behind me, and we're gonna walk towards the opera house now. Where else? Where else would we go? A heart speed to the city streets, we begin to feel the fire. Well, Melbourne does not have that. We rise like so it's got other things, but it doesn't have that. And the water is always so blue and pretty. The night's young, it is just begun. As she puts her hand in mine. They are about to get very wet. I've done it once. And it's, it's pretty crazy. I was scared because they do all these sudden turns and stops and everything. And I was screaming and also because you have to wear those raincoat thingies, they smell really bad because yeah, I guess they don't wash them or something. So afterwards, even after I took it off, I smelled so bad. I had to go right home and have a shower. So I warned you, if you want to do this, you're not going to smell pleasant afterwards. Lots of other tourists here, I'm not the only tourist. I mean, this must be one of the prettiest spots on planet Earth. So if you're an alien and if you want to visit planet Earth, I'd say come to Circular Quay in Sydney. Reporting live from Sydney Opera House and Sydney Harbour Bridge. Got it all. We lay awake in bed. It laughs so loud as the hours pass. We're gonna do it all. Good to be home. music at Opera Bar if that's your thing. It's always a bit crowded but I mean obviously it's a beautiful spot to hang out. You can eat here, you can drink here. Oh my god it is so beautiful. Alrighty then, let's do a very touristy thing and let's go touch Sydney Opera House. I haven't touched it in a long long time. It used to be a tradition always like when I was still based in Vienna and it was my dream to live here. And I made it like every two or three years. I had enough savings to come here for a few months. And the first thing I always did was like go to the opera house and touch it. So. Good opera house, good opera house. Done. You can check that off the list. And now I'm heading to the Royal Botanic Gardens, which are just over there. This is where you will find me now, just like chilling in the shade because it's hot. And it smells like the ocean. I love it. It has that particular smell. Nowhere else in the world does it smell like this. I think it's a mix of concrete and the parking garage down there <laughs> and the grass and the water. And it makes a very unique Sydney Opera House smell. And I love it. And there's a conservatorium of music, which is in such a nice area. And I performed there a few times in the, in the hall, but obviously I did not study there, I studied in Austria. In a beautiful location.
counting my blessings. And here I am again at Chippo Hotel to meet Nasli and I see someone, is that her? No, I haven't seen her in a while so don't recognize her. But no, um, I'm about to meet Nasli. Can I go? Yes. And I'm perfectly on time. That doesn't happen very often. Oh no, this, this ain't Nasli. Asian Nasli. Alrighty, let's see if she's there. And yes, so we are again at Chippo Hotel at Mama Bee's. As you would have seen in my previous vlog. But I loved it so much and they have such a huge menu and I just want to eat everything. There is, it's even possible that I come here again tomorrow night. It's not off the table, just saying. Alrighty, let's see if Nasli is there. Alrighty, and I'm here with... To order our burgers now. Ah, no, we're doing a video. It's, it's YouTube. Yes, yes. Alrighty, okay. Um, I think we know what we want. We're gonna have burgers. And we've been served with burgers, and Nasli is taking a picture of it. It does look very promising. Here, you can see the insides. We're gonna dig in now and then talk about talk about men. And stuff. About, about no, we're, no, we're not talking about guys because guys are not important. We're talking, actually, we're talking about if I should live in Sydney or in Melbourne. So we're discussing it. And what's the solution? I think we came to the conclusion I should live in Melbourne because Nasli doesn't want too much of me. She sees me in the cruise ships, and that's plenty. Alrighty then. Seriously, this is the best thing. I mean, I uh, said that about the tiramisu as well, but OMG, this must be the best thing I've ever had in a liquid form. Uh, are we still boiling? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it is a biscuit milkshake and it is, I don't know, like I, I don't need a man anymore. All I need for the rest of my life is this. <laughs> <We're still boring. laughs> what else? I, I cannot, like, there's nothing else I can say. I'm going back to my hotel now. And I just got upgraded to business for my flight back home to Melbourne tomorrow. I mean, I, I was offering a bid of $95, which is the lowest bid you can do. And they accepted it. And yes, I'm going to go to the lounge and it's going to be a much nicer return flight. So yay, happy days. Anyway. A very good morning from Sydney Town Hall. Ah, I'm at the wrong entrance. Need to go to the other entrance. So yeah, I have to work today. It's 9 a.m. Not quite 8:45, and I've got sound check now. And then two shows, and we'll be finishing around 4:30, and then flying back home to Melbourne. So that's the plan for today. Alrighty, back to the grind. <laughs> Morning. Sound check done, quick, quick and easy. And now I actually have time to have fancy breakfast in Queen Me building. Cool. Sticky rice with mango for lunch. Thank you. 